Hello everyone, Jen here and welcome back to another Crystal Creations Rags to Riches. We have a thunderstorm. I love thunderstorms. I love thunderstorms in real life. I love thunderstorms in games. I just absolutely love thunderstorms. The bad thing is it's the middle of the day for Grace and she needs to work. But... She can't do that if it's thunderstorming. Well, I mean, we could try, but technically this is outside, I think. Let's try cutting a gemstone. Ooh, let's try a star. I want a star. Rainbows? Why not? Let's see if she'll go out there. I think it will scare her because even though it has a roof, it has no walls. Unless the thunderstorm stopped and it's just raining now. Ooh, what'd we get? Nope, the thunderstorm's still going on. Viraxium? I guess we can claim it. I wonder what kind of emotional aura it gives us. We'll have to put it up here on the desk and turn it on and see what it does for us. I didn't even realize the lightning had struck so close to her house. Okay, so far she's fine being under this little overhang, working on gems. So that's good. I guess I could move this to this side of the room and move the gem table inside. Feels quite cramped though, and she does like being outside, which is kind of why I wanted to keep it outside. Whoa, that is quite some thunderstorm. She's a level eight in ge gemology. I want to look at this thing. That's really cool. Oh, I love that so much. I want a star-shaped crystal in real life. We will put it in the table for safekeeping. And since I see that she is okay with doing this outside during the thunderstorm because of the overhang, I'm going to have her get to work and I will catch back up with you. I was not recording but oh no okay so the charging grid got struck by lightning it started to charge up and then it looks like now it needs to be replaced darn it oh okay we replaced it and it is charging thanks to the lightning oh my god the tree finally grew. That only took forever. Whoa. That is so weird looking. Okay. We can't do anything with it yet. But I'm gonna have her continue to work on some jewelry. Have I had her make a necklace yet? I don't even remember. Um, let's go with the Baconite and peach so how long oh no it needs to be sprayed for bugs already how long do you think it takes after it's uh fully grown to uh sprout crystals from it that'll be interesting this thing is still charged and continuing to charge even though it's clearly daytime that lightning really lit this thing up even though it's been replaced technically so maybe a glitch i'm gonna try charging some of the jewelry before selling it and see if that gets us anything and she did go digging and she found a fire opal and a ruby so she has those now let's charge on the crystal grid oh it's not charging anymore darn it it will tonight though so that's fine i bet it looks way cooler at night than it does during the day during the day it kind of looks solid almost like marble or something oh no oh no let's replace this view inventory okay good that scared me for a minute okay so since it takes us so long i can't do the markup okay but when i do how many things do we have in here we have a few we could probably do a yard sale right now and since it takes so long to make these things i'm thinking we should raise the markup to like 75 percent and see if we can sell them at that price 
We'll see. Okay, we've started a yard sale, so we're just waiting for Sims to show up. Anybody want some jewelry? Okay, we have our first customer, I think. Introduction. Give a sales pitch, maybe. We've got another one coming in. Give them the sales pitch. Doesn't seem like they're terribly interested. Come on, guys. These are one-of-a-kind pieces, so far as you know. At least right now, in this world. So they're worth a lot. Please buy some. No. Maybe I've put the prices up too high. Let's give this sim a sales pitch. Kinda seems like they're just chatting right now. I got two sales! Yay! Okay, let's see if we can get a couple more sales here. We have three more pieces to go. Okay, I sold another piece. We're at 10,900 simoleons. We have two pieces left, guys. Come on. Isn't anybody interested? Oh, I was just about to click on him and give him a sales pitch when he bought... I think he bought the death metal earrings. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. We have one piece left. The bling bracelet. We don't have much time left. Come on. You guys know you want it. Oh, wait. Did someone just buy it? For 1,400 simoleons, someone just bought our last piece. And that brings us to 12,800 simoleons. We are better than halfway to getting our own little jewelry shop. I am so excited. And the yard sale is done. Let's check our tree. Nothing yet. Maybe they'll grow at night. So we know we can do a 75% markup now, which is good because it takes a long time to make these jewelry pieces and gemstones. I think I want to make a heart. Maybe out of the ruby? No. Maybe... Ooh. Um, I think we'll do it out of the peach. It costs 400 simoleons to make that. Okay, one thing I haven't been paying much attention to is the aspiration because I forgot about it. We need to gift a piece of jewelry or successfully propose with a crafted ring. So I am going to make a piece of jewelry, something simple probably. Like the basic bracelets, maybe, in Romantium. Romantium. Whoops, I double-clicked it by accident. Which only costs 40 simoleons to make. We will hang on to that and we will gift it to a friend. We just gotta decide which friend. We don't really have a lot of friends. We know a lot of sims. We just don't have any friends friends <laughs> well we seem pretty compatible with her let's try to make good friends with her we'll invite her oh we can't invite her over yet i haven't made it yet but after we've made it then we'll invite her over whoa we're level nine in gemology okay so i just made an unfortunate discovery Apparently, I had aging turned off. I wish this was set separately for each individual save, but apparently it's not. So if you turn it off, it's off for all saves. And so Grace has not been aging this whole time. And it's been about 11 sim days at this point. Does that render this rags to riches null and void you let me know down in the comments i'm gonna keep going if i have to i will shave off 11 days uh in her adulthood and pretend that she is retiring and already elderly 11 days before aging up from adult to elderly, and if we haven't made our million simoleons by that point, or if we have made our million simoleons by that point, we will declare it either a success or a failure. Okay, is that like a good compromise? Hopefully it is. You let me know down in the comments.
And it's a full moon, so everything is, in fact, fast charging. Everything will be charged fully in three hours. Quick question, Eliza Pancakes and I were planning to spend some casual friend time together. Of course, building friendships is important. So she has the bracelets made. I don't know why she won't put them in her inventory. She has them made, but it's getting pretty late in the day. So instead of calling her friend over tonight, I'm just gonna refresh all her needs here and then... We'll call her friend over in the morning. Still no crystals. Okay, can we add these things to the table? Right from the grid, we can. They have two days of charge remaining, so I want to sell them now while they're charged. Oh, the tree is sparkling. Oh, I see crystals growing in the leaves. Oh, let's go harvest it and see what we get. We can sell for 120 simoleons each, I think. I'm not sure. Whoops. Don't want to do that. Let's harvest them and see what we get. Okay, we got sapphire, jade, and orange topaz. Nice. Are those the only three that we got, though? Wait, where'd all the re- What? All the rest of my gems disappeared when I harvested those. I swear I had other ones in my inventory. Okay, see, here they are. That was weird. I knew I had others. It's a little bit early to be starting a yard sale. Maybe we'll go fertilize the tree again. Increase the quality. Wait, it's kind of sparkling. Oh, we can evolve it. Okay, so we did increase the quality to nice. So the next time the crystals grow, we'll have to see what we get from it. Now those are only for crystals. Those won't give us metals, which we still have to dig for in order to make jewelry. Actually, now that I'm talking about it, let's have her go digging. Because she is going to need some more metals. She's still finding a lot of gems. Plumbite. Hematite. Turquoise. More rose. Did we already use our other rose up? We got amber now. Another citrine. Looks like more jade. I don't know how many of these other ones we already had. And then a fossil. Okay, we're finding a ton of gems and other stuff. Not much in the way of metal. So we won't be able to make a lot of jewelry, but we can make cut gems, which is fine. Let's go ahead and stock the table. We only have three pieces this time, but they're all charged and glowing. Look at that. Maybe they'll draw in more sims to shop. That is pretty spectacular. This one's not glowing as much, but these two are really glowing. Let's see if we can sell one to her or even her. Nope. Katrina is definitely not interested for sure. But she might be slightly interested. Why are my adult sims getting the things above their heads that are usually reserved for kids? So far, I'm not getting any sales on this one. Do they not like the charged stones? Or is it the particular stones I've used? Or is it the combination of metals and stones? Like, you would think at least someone would buy this. No, so far nobody's interested. Okay, he says he's kind of interested. And then he walks away. Okay, well, that was a failure. I think 924 simoleons we could have got for that one. 1800 for that one. 1700 for that one. It's not like they're not... Like, that's excellent quality. That's excellent quality. That's excellent quality. Um, maybe a yard sale isn't gonna cut it anymore. So, we're gonna call her friend over. 
or the person, well, she's got a good relationship with her. Maybe we'll do her instead. We'll call her over and we will gift her these basic bracelets. I'm gonna let Grace wear this one with all of her outfits. So let's just to chat with her. So Grace is now wearing one of her pieces that she made. Kind of a coppery looking metal with a white stone, which I think is really pretty. Maybe it'll work as advertising. Um, and we will... I gotta pause this for a second. I have to figure out how to give a gift. Okay, you click on the item itself and gift it to, and then we can gift it to her. Yay! And we completed that part of the aspiration, and it looks like we already completed two parts of the next part as well. Buy a crystal grid, plant a crystal seed, and wear a fully charged piece of jewelry wait what does that say wear a fully charged jewelry piece okay so let's go ahead and put the necklace that she's wearing uh remove jewelry from all outfits and then place it on the crystal grid to charge Oh, did I give her the wrong thing? I meant to give her the bracelets. <laughs> Whoop. I gave her, I think, a very expensive... No? I don't know. I'm really confused. I don't know what we gave her, but whatever it was, it worked. So I'm not going to complain. Let's try listing one on Plopsy and see if we can get some simoleons that way and how much we can get for it that way. Okay, well... It's that time of day for Grace again. I'm gonna get her needs up, get her to bed. I've got her necklace on the charging grid because the next thing in the aspiration is to wear a fully charged jewelry piece. So I've got that there charging again. We've got at least one tree, so that's pretty awesome. I'm not seeing the dig spots back yet. We've got one piece of jewelry listed on Plopsy. Oh no, she broke her toilet. Actually, this is good because this gets her handiness up, hopefully. And we can check out the Forgotten Grotto in Oasis Springs. But anyways, we've got bracelets listed on Plopsy. We'll see how much we can get for those there. If I sell this right here, I can get 975 simoleons for it. I think I'm going to do that. And we can sell these too. It said it was still fully charged and would be for two more days. This said it was fully charged when I had it on. Yeah, it only has a minute until it's fully charged. Let's wear it with the current outfit. Maybe I just needed to take it off and put it back on to get this. Okay, that was it. And you know what? How much can we get for this one? Oh, I, I don't know because I'm wearing it. That's okay. We're going to hang on to that one for now anyways. It's kind of pretty. I like it. So the next set in the Crystal Crafter Aspiration is Grow a mag Magnificent Crystal Tree. Okay, well, we're already working on that. Make five pieces of excellent jewelry. Complete crafting gemstones or jewelry 10 times while focused well that's easy because we got that that thing so that's awesome does this need to be fertilized again it does not it's not it's still normal quality this one is nice quality it's gonna take a while to get it up to magnificent quality though I am using up the last piece of metal, making another bracelet set. So let's go ahead and do that. And we might have to buy them from now on. Okay, we've got some more crystals. Look at how pretty that is in the dark with it glowing like that. It looks way better in the dark than it does in the daylight. I can't wait to plant these all over Glimmerbrook. I don't know why, but I think it would look awesome there. 
Uh, let's go ahead and harvest the crystals. It doesn't ever really need anything. It shouldn't be too much longer before this one grows. It does want to be fertilized again, so let's go ahead and do that. Does this one want to be fertilized? No. So hopefully we can get the quality up. We need to find something better to fertilize it with. I just don't know what. Ooh, and it's fall now, so we've switched flowers. So let's go ahead and sell all those and all the mushrooms too. And since we don't currently have any metals left, I'm going to have her cut some gemstones into shapes. We have one piece of jewelry in the table. We'll give it one more try after I get some gemstones cut. We'll give one more yard sale a try. And then we'll decide what to do from there. We're a level 10 gemology. We maxed it out. I do kind of wish it would go a little bit faster, especially now that she is maxed out on gemology because she's only been able to make three items. I think two of them were today and one of them was yesterday for her. So maybe she made all three today. I don't remember. No, one was yesterday and the other two were today. So, all right, it's kind of late in the evening and it's raining, but I am going to start a new yard sale and see if we can't sell some of this stuff and see if maybe it was it being charged before that uh, caused it to not be sold or if it's the high markup that's causing it to not be sold. Okay, we've got some people starting to show up. We'll talk to them, give them the sales pitch. Oh, already sold something. And I think it's still at the 75% markup. It is. Which means it was because the stuff was charged that it didn't sell. Like, the Sims were totally turned off by that for some reason. And we sold another one. Okay, note to self, never charge this stuff before trying to sell it. And another one. We have one piece left. And it just sold. I'm so happy we're at 15,000 simoleons. We only have 5,000 simoleons to go before I feel like we have enough money to buy a little uh, plot of land in Newcrest and make a little jewelry shop. I'm so excited. I can't wait. On that note, I am going to leave this episode here. If you're enjoying this series, don't forget to like and comment. If you're enjoying my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!